I'm Andrew Van Loon from motorsport.com and this is the Repco Rundown. Well, we're here at a very cold but sunny at the moment Simmons Plains in Tasmania for the Tasmania Super Sprint. And once again, for the third or fourth round in a row this year, we're talking about parity. Now, there are some changes to both the Ford and Chevrolet engine packages coming into this weekend, so new mapping for both. For the Chevrolet, it's about making the car a bit nicer to pull away at low revs. It's not really anything to do with performance, but for the Ford, as they still try to peg back what they feel is a deficit in torque delivery, there are changes to the cam mapping and changes to the shift cut. Two different maps will be trialled across each car in each garage during the two practice sessions. They'll settle on a new map from the competitive sessions, that is the start of first qualifying onwards. Another thing to watch this weekend is Triple Eight. This has always been Triple Eight's happy hunting ground. They were basically unstoppable here in the Gen 2 era. They won 16 of the last 20 races here, but this is the Gen 3 era now, so we really don't know exactly where they're going to stack up in the pecking order, and whether any of the nollies that used to make them so fast here will actually carry over. Another factor to consider is Erebus Motorsport, the team that has been the upstart of the Gen 3 era, made a fantastic start to the season, leading the team's championship. Brody Kostecki is leading the driver's standings. Can they continue that run of going to very different race circuits and still being quick? They've been the most consistent team at everywhere we've gone this year. This Simmons Plain circuit is a completely different layout again. The long straights, the hairpin, another short compact layout. It's a different challenge. And if Erebus can be quick here again, it's going to be time to start saying these guys are absolutely the real deal. We've only got two days of supercars action this weekend. It's a very condensed schedule which will test the repairability of these Gen 3 cars if someone finds one of the walls here at Simmons Plains that aren't too far from the, from the racing surface. Uh, we've got a packed support category as well. There's Formula 4, there's Porsche Michelin Sprint Challenge, there's Aussie racing cars, there's Tassie Tin Tops. So plenty to follow along. And you can follow all the news from the weekend on motorsport.com and keep an eye on the Repco Garage for some fantastic content as well.